Hey everybody, today we're going to work on a quantum catalyst of 40. It doesn't have any uh, anti reverse. When I previewed this video in, or this reel in one of my videos prior, I said I was concerned that I might not be able to source the parts for this, so hopefully the things in there can be refurbished. <coughs> so, without further ado, let's get right into it. I do these uh, these things don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like the content that I put out as well as hitting that uh, like button and letting your friends know about the channel as well Aye. to open this up to check inside here to see what's going on. So now we gotta <clears throat> pull this off. And there's a couple of screws up here and one down here to remove this side cover. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Just gonna check the end of the reverse. That's never a good sign when it just comes out like that. I'll leave that intact. Uh, <coughs> my issue is up here. It's not with the lever, because you see that that works. And the spring is fine. It's with this. And uh, this kind of happens <coughs> with this particular uh, uh, anti-reverse clutch, where it just, I don't know, I don't know if it's pressed in or what, or if it's glued in, but it comes out, or it loosens up over time, so that's not good. So we could get like a larger one, and or just a slightly larger one and press it in there, or we can take the existing anti-reverse that we have here, and if it's still good, then we can try to glue that back in which is the rod I think I'm going to take, which is, uh, like I said, gluing it in. I want to get it out. So I'm going to pause the video in a sec and do that. I just want to pull this out so I can double check that it's, the bearing is fine. okay inside so you get it real close nice I like close-up pictures it looks fine inside uh, so if let's say there was a little bit of dirt or whatever a little bit of rust inside there but it's still function properly the way you check that is just sticking the sleeve inside and then the 
just turning it manually with your hand. We can feel in general that that works. So we can likely reuse it and get this real fishing again. All right, so a few things that you're gonna do uh, to clean this out is just use some Q-tips. Gonna roll in the direction that it freely moves the cylinders inside. And every so often, just a little gentle backward motion. You can also spray some <clears throat> Corrosion X or oil in there. Make sure you clean it up really, really well. Uh, I wouldn't use um, brake fluid or carb cleaner inside there uh, because of the plastic. But you can certainly use some other stuff, like I said, the uh, WD-40 Corrosion X. All right, so when we're gonna clue this back in, we gotta make sure that we clean this outside really well, that inside really well. And we wanna make sure that this is in the correct position going up inside of here. So that when we put this on, <clears throat> back onto the reel, it's functioning in the correct position. That's about it. So I'm gonna pause the camera, get all this stuff done. I'm gonna clean this reel up before I do this or while this sets and then I'll come back to you to show you if this actually worked or did not all right see you guys in a bit okay so we're back we've uh, glued this back in here so let me give you a few tips on gluing this or trying to reset this into the uh, into this ratchet I want to make sure, like I said before, that the outside of this uh, clutch is clean and on the inside of this ratchet is clean as well. I used uh, brake cleaner and then alcohol and just did it a few times to make sure it's like super clean. And added just a light amount of JB Weld to the outside of the clutch and a little bit to the inside of the ratchet. Before I did that, I added, I'm sorry, after I did that, I added this sleeve here to protect any glue that might come up or seep out through the top here, right there, from getting to the rollers on the inside. And afterwards, I just pushed this up. Instead of pushing it down, I pushed it up so it doesn't get into the into those rollers on the inside on the clutch, and then wipe that off been set for about uh, about an hour or so so it's not completely cured but we're gonna put it together and see how it works of course I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna go crazy with it but let's give it'll give us a good idea of uh, of how it works to begin with I think it's gonna be pretty good uh, where are we Let's stick this on there. I'm gonna stick some grease inside here. And put some here. The rest of the reel has already been cleaned, so this is the last step that we have to do. I also had an issue with the uh, one of the screws on the bottom. I'll try to get this on, I'll show you. I forgot how this went on. You know, I read something somewhere uh, once that said, and you can kind of compare this to your own lives. In a given week, you have 
one day, or sorry, two days that are good. Two days that are not so good. And the rest of the days are just okay. I'm lining that up with the uh, those holes right there. I want a point of this nut to face those holes. So, if you're having a bad day, just remember that tomorrow is probably not going to be as bad. <laughs> I only say that because I was having trouble with the nut. <laughs> Anyhow, so <laughs> there was a screw in the bottom here that the, the receiving hole, the thread, the threading was stripped. So I have a video up. Let's just see. Wrong way. Over, over here. Golly, I can never get this right. This way. Over here somewhere. That shows you how you can help remedy that. It wasn't a pen pursuit that I did it, so I'll show it to you. I'll put the link up there somewhere. All right, let's take this on. Stop dilly-dallying. Oops. Hold on. one of those days Let's put this back on. And I'm going to stick this on real quick. Here's the moment of truth. Don't know if I have it engaged or not, but let's find out. Mm. And it works. Good stuff. All right, so how to help some of you guys out there? Again, just when you, if you're trying to glue that back in there, just try to be careful with it. You definitely don't want the glue getting into the rollers on the inside of the clutch. But with a little bit of patience, you can certainly get it done. All right, guys. Hope to help some of you out there. Again, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Let your friends know about the channel. And I will see you all next time.